Quilly, are you ready to do this video? Let's go. Let's get out of here. Hey guys, what's up? So I know last week I missed my usual upload, but it was for a good reason. I was a little bit burnt out from doing all the back-to-back -back videos and I just needed a minute to kind of sit back, collect my thoughts, regain some energy. And I also wanted to give you guys something uh, good, put out a good video with some good valuable information because if you guys are watching this, I want you guys to have something to take away by the end of the video. So. I travel a lot. If we've talked in DMs or we've met in person, we pro I've probably told you guys how much I love to travel, where I love to travel to, what I do for work outside of YouTube. And um, sometimes I'll go away anywhere from a week to a month, uh, either for work or for pleasure, up to four times a year. And there is no better feeling than when I go away on these uh, trips or vacation that I don't have to feel guilty about leaving Fully behind or where he's staying, how he's being treated, or you know if he's wondering when I'm gonna be back or anything like that. So I am gonna share with you guys um, how I was able to manage to find the best babysitter for Fully that allows me to enjoy these trips to the fullest without having to feel guilty and hopefully you guys will take away something from this video that you guys can start implementing today so in the future when you guys do start traveling you guys can enjoy your trips and not have to worry about how your baby is doing all right i feel like this point i don't even need to mention but i'm gonna say it anyway and that's how you need to find a sitter now that could be anyone it could be a friend a family member a co-worker a neighbor whoever you want it to be for me it's my friend carly um if you guys are in the my possum friendship group she's the girl with the pink hair you've probably seen her reply to some of your questions um she is the one that watches out for food while i go on these work trips or i vacation for like a month um I have known her for the last couple of years and you know she's great I trust her and I'm gonna tell you guys how I was able to build that trust with her in the next point All right, so this next point I'm really big on. If we have talked on Instagram, in text messages, uh, the Facebook group, wherever, and we've gotten to know each other, you guys know that I am big on relationships. I'm big on building relationships with people and getting to know them. I think this is very important. Um, you know, this makes me feel good when I have an opportunity to get to know someone because everybody has a story and everybody's very unique in their own way and i think when you get to know someone genuinely um it goes a long way you know get to know the person uh get to know their likes their dislikes um just be genuine on and authentic get to know them as a person don't look at it as like you know i want this person to like um you know watch out for my dog while i'm gone away traveling in europe or something like that like just go in with an open mind uh, being genuine and just you know taking interest in them once you build that you know fundamental um, relationship with them a lot of a hey, stay stay once you build it <laughs> we're doing a YouTube video here <laughs> okay we had some people walking by and they had some questions about what I'm filming so I had to stop the video but as I was saying 
when you get to know someone genuinely and you build a relationship with them it goes a long way when it comes to having them take care of your dog for you while you go on your vacation or away for a weekend to the cottage or whatever it may be so i think you know that's like one of the things that has really helped me with finding Fuli a babysitter um, and you know trusting Carly with Fuli while I go away for work or I go on these like crazy like trips obviously not right now with COVID um, that's not happening but you know this is a good time for all of you who have just recently got a dog um, any breed whether it be your Frenchie I encourage you like you know start building those relationships now get to know those people um, you know let your dog get to know them I'm telling you it's gonna go a long way it's gonna give you more peace of mind when you do actually go away on your trip Okay, so what you want to do is you want to create a positive experience for your dog, but not just for your dog, for your sitter as well and for yourself. So what I'm talking about here is introduce your dog to them, to their home, get them used to um, the dog being at their home for, you know, whether it be a day or a weekend or whatever. I often see people, they end up going on a vacation, they don't think about their dog and the last minute they're scrambling to find someone uh, to watch their dog. Then they find someone and then what happens is that the dog stresses out, it develops uh, separation anxiety because they don't know the person, they don't know the environment, they're left wondering, you know, why and why am I being abandoned? Is my owner going to come back? When are they going to come back? So it just creates a lot of stress for the dog when you just drop them off like that. And it's not a good experience for the sitter either because sometimes what happens with dogs, they react in a way where they all stop eating, they become destructive, and now your sitter has a bad experience because um, the dog has torn apart their pillows or their shoes or they're not eating or you know they're going to the washroom in the house so it's a lot easier if you just you know introduce the dog slowly to that new environment to that person it's gonna really help you because you're gonna have like a sense of relief and confidence in your sitter that they're you know treating your dog properly and you don't have to worry about what's going on with your dog, what they're thinking, you know, do, do they feel abandoned? Are they being taken care of properly? So that goes a long way once you start introducing those steps um, right now. So then when you do end up going on a vacation, it's gonna be kind of like, you know, we're going over to my aunt's and uncle's house for the weekend and they're gonna have a good time. It's gonna leave you to just enjoy, you know, your trip, you know, whether, I don't know, wherever you wanna travel to. I like going to Thailand. I love going to Europe. A lot of my trips are to Europe. So, you know, I wanna be in the moment uh, while I'm on my trip and not having to have this, you know, sense of guilt while I'm away and my dog's, you know, back at home. All right, we need to get this guy some water and he's tripping me out because he's really close to the water. And as you guys know, they do not swim, they sink like rocks. Really, let's go, come. All right, guys, this last tip that I have for you guys is to take care of your sitter. And what I mean by that is compensate them and compensate them well. Pay them big because they do a lot. I mean, Carly does a lot for me when I go away on these trips. I mean, she takes care of Fuli. She takes away the, the stress of me leaving the dog. And she, you know, sends me pictures of how he's doing. Um, she's on top of it if there's any kind of allergic reaction to the food that he's getting or anything. So, I mean, I take care of her to the best of my ability. I make sure that Timbit is taken care of. I usually get her, um, her uh, raw food for the month. So, I mean, it goes a long way when you actually take care of your sitter. You take care of them now, they're gonna be more inclined to take care of your dog the next time you have a work trip. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys are able to get out and enjoy the nice weather. I'm really ha happy that things are kind of, kind of starting to shape back around to being normal, but it's nice to see everyone out riding their bikes and all that stuff. So 
and yeah that's it um guys if you guys travel a lot let me know down in the comments because i'm curious i'm very fortunate enough to be uh to travel for work but i'm very curious how many of you guys are actually out there and traveling and seeing the world and if you guys enjoy it all right that's it for today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace my trip so much more enjoyable when I could, you know, just be in the moment. So, and I have this idiot right now screaming, God knows what, behind me, and I was really trying to focus. I wish I could just swim out there and flip him over in his stupid blow up freaking boat. I really hope his boat sinks. Like, I, I know that's bad to say, but I God hope it does. And this idiot is still f Woo yelling.